Hello and welcome to my unboxing, unbagging of the next four issues of the Warhammer 40,000 Imperium subscription. Uh, if my voice sounds a little bit different, that is because I am massively under the weather. Uh, but uh, thank you uh, to, to everybody that has uh, been supporting me recently, you know, via the Patreon and the element games uh, affiliate link uh, big thank you uh, really does help the channel out and um, you know videos like this just wouldn't be possible without your support so thank you let's get in there and uh, unwrap this bag a little bit odd I would have preferred it in a cardboard box but you know uh, let's let's get into this I think there is a book in here or something uh, I think Warhammer Imperium said, oh, you know, you can have this book for like £15 or so. Or, and I, I just couldn't be bothered to, to sort of cancel it. Yeah, so they're going to be charging me £51, basically. Yeah, £14.99. I, I don't think this book will be worth it. Uh, the last book wasn't anything special. We're going to have a look at this book in a, in a separate video. Um, as well and we're gonna have a look at this book uh, in its separate video so yeah stay tuned for that uh, the next issues looks like there's a lot of Adeptus Mechanicus going on so there's 19 20 21 22 so issue 19 uh, it's just gonna be a uh, but I'm back in and look at the monitor crate uh, issue 20 just has two paints uh, yeah terrible issue really 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 terrible issue um, and then uh, issue 21 uh, you've got a bit of a game in that uh, I guess um, and then you've got uh, I think five Skitari or half of the uh, Skitari I can't see why that, that would be 10 but well, it says 10 Oh, it says 10 miniatures with this issue. Can't be right. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three sets of legs. No, that's not right. That's strange. It says 10 miniatures with this issue, and then it says part one of two. Yeah, no, that's that's not right. But then again, you've got issue 22, 10 miniatures with this issue, part two of two. So they're the other seven, I'm thinking. So let's unbag... Uh, this issue, issue number 19. I uh, hope you've been enjoying the uh, subscription so far. I heard that it's coming out to America or, or it's about to release in America and finally after you know a bit of a delay uh, we finally got that coming to you guys. It's, uh, it's a great way of uh, building up your forces and your army. Bit, bit of an odd one uh, with this uh, Imperium subscription this time is that they've included four separate factions uh, you know you've got sisters of battle you've got Deptus mechanicus you've got space marines um pretty much primaris uh and then you've got necrons i mean i don't know i, I probably would like it to have four factions uh but but two i say bad baddies and two sort of goodies it depends you know which side you're on whether you think they're goodies or baddies but you know what i mean um two two imperium and two uh you know either xenos or chaos or something like that but anyway this is issue 19 uh we, we've now got the gray plastic they're not doing uh, colored plastic uh for these issues i don't think uh, they're sticking with the gray throughout which uh yeah um is fine and i do prefer it to the the brown uh and the blue um I mean, there's not that much issue. Uh, there's not that much difference, but yeah. I mean, the one thing I will say is that the plastic. It it doesn't seem like it's the china stuff. Uh, usually with the sea scenery and things. I mean, I, I want to say with the older kits, uh, they they were china made because they're scenery. But then again, this does say 2016 on it. So yeah, I have to get back to you on that one. Uh, but yeah. I th uh, we'll have a look at that a little bit later on after the uh, issue itself. So, issue 19, you've got the uh, Manufactor and Battle Zone Smogfield Industrial Centres. Uh, you've got Space Marines Reclusium, Reclusium uh, Ranks of the Reclusium, uh, In Search of Immortality, The Awakening, A Thousand Empires, How to Build, 
container, very straightforward. We've already built one, uh, I think, in the uh, in the subscription already. Uh, <coughs> and then, um, yeah, how to paint some of the uh, the scenery. War the Factorum. So we've got three of these crates now. And some missions and war on Cyphos. Cyphos. Uh, the next two issues, um, that's a really, really bad issue. You know, that's, uh, you're losing money on that issue. Um, but the, the next two issues after that aren't too bad. Um, you know, so Monitorum container, you've seen this uh, many times before. Uh, you've got two sides, uh, top and a bottom two doors, uh, three uh, barrels, and four uh, ammunition crates, along with like the, the extra hooks that go onto the uh, container and the uh, pintle-mounted storm bolt. You get two uh, storm bolters as well, which is quite nice. Um, so yeah, that is the uh, Minotaurum uh, container. I won't be doing a review of it because, well, I'd, I'd end up doing like three reviews of the same thing. Uh, but what I will say is the uh, container uh, for a pack of three, uh, it will cost you £32.50. So yeah, three lots of nine, £27. You're saving yourself £5.50. Uh, but you know, you can get a pack of three uh, from Element Games uh, at like a, a decent discount, probably cheaper than than uh, these these three issues. So even though it, it looks like quite a nice deal, uh, you know, you've got to remember that um, they've bumped up their price to £9 whereas before it was eight. So 24 pounds is fine uh, for three monitorum uh, containers a few years ago. But now at uh, 27 pounds, it's a bit, yeah, it's uh, not the best nowadays. But anyway, that is issue 19. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below as always. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protect.